Well, right now, a former WWE superstar is back in jail, charged in a deadly crash in Volusia County that happened back in March. Tamara Sitch appeared before a judge this morning. She's known to wrestling fans as Sunny. News 6's Catherine Silver was in the courtroom with what led up to this decision. Prosecutors argued they wanted Tamara Sitch back behind bars because they believe she is a danger to the community. Today, a judge here agreed, noting a history of alcohol-related incidents. Tamara Sitch is back in handcuffs now that a judge has revoked her bond. And we have seemingly one event after another related to alcohol abuse. Judge Karen Foxman pointed to a list of law enforcement encounters in the 49 year olds past. Among them, three prior DUI convictions in Pennsylvania in 2015 and four recent run ins with the law this year. There's an arrest out of January, an arrest out of February related to alcohol. This happens in March and then in May, there's a Marchman Act and she has consistently shown that she's going to get behind the wheel of a vehicle intoxicated and not just at a low intoxication level. A crash report states Sitch's blood alcohol level was more than three times the legal limit on March 25th. Real quick, what's your last name? Sitch, S-Y-T-C-H. An officer testified in court Friday that Sitch admitted she was drinking vodka earlier that night and had left her home to get a diet iced tea. I observed an unsealed bottle of Grey Goose in the passenger side floorboard of the white Mercedes. The report says Sitch ran into a vehicle stopped at a red light on US 1 and Granada Boulevard, killing 75 year old Julian Lassiter. Sitch refused to comment on the case. I think that this whole process, everybody's been hurt, not just the family. Her fiance had this to say about the hearing. They should have decided that she was a threat to society before they granted a $225,000 bond had me pay $22,000. Tamara Sitch will remain in jail while she waits for trial. In Volusia County, I'm Catherine Silver, getting results, News 6.